A food distribution program in Chinatown during the worst of the pandemic is now ending. The charitable event that began in April of last year is credited with providing food to almost 10,000 households. And today was the final food giveaway. Judy Wang was there. Food for hope. <laughs> food for nearly 10,000 families since the pandemic began. It's been a blessing for Tsui Ai Liang. She's very, she's very happy, and then, but uh, when we said uh, this is the last time, she said, of course, it's not that happy. Food distribution to residents in need is ending outside the Chinese Christian Union Church. It began in April of 2020 when a Pilsen nonprofit, which held food distributions daily, noticed there were no such programs in Chinatown. It's very important for me to remember why we started this. And the reason why we started this was because you're all our neighbors. The Economic Development Strategies Corps decided to get the ball rolling. They offered to bring food. It turned out to be Mexican food. Actually, uh, our Chinese families couldn't figure out what to do with them because they're lactose intolerant and they've never seen a, a green tomato. Uh, so they, they challenged us to say, raise some money in Chinatown and uh, we'll match it. And we said, that'd be great. Chinatown organizations started signing on to the cause. They started raising money to buy culturally appropriate food, which helped Chinatown grocers at the same time. In the beginning, most of them as the seniors came out, but after a while, the regular residents all come in too. Streets came alive again, neighbors started reconnecting. And so it was a, a really important strategy to uh, serve the community at, at a very difficult time. You know, we think that most families are, are recovering, um, Chinatown's recovering, and so we're grateful for that. In Chinatown, Judy Wang, WG.